Okay, so now you have a data set version. This means that you're ready to start training. So in other words, you've located your images, you've annotated them, you've chosen which pre-processing and augmentation steps you want to apply to your data set, and you've created a data set version in RoboFlow. So now that you have a data set version, you're ready to start training. And the process to start training is really quite simple. All you have to do is go here and click the Start Training button. And once you click that, you'll be prompted here with a few options. You can start your model from scratch, that is completely random weights, or you can start from a checkpoint. Now, starting from a checkpoint can be a good idea if you know of a model that is similar to the task that you're tackling. That is, the network has already learned to pick up on some key features like edges or little patches of brightness or different pieces of, of the image. So for this case, we've already trained some mask wearing uh, models. So we're going to try training our mask wearing model from a mask wearing checkpoint. And that will just kind of speed up training and you know that things have already been tuned a little bit. So we'll start from a checkpoint here. Then when you start training, uh, the, your computer vision files will be zipped and they will be sent to our servers uh, to run a training routine. So this training routine will be looking at your data set and trying to find um, some sort of uh, algorithm essentially to map the input pixels to predictions. And that will all happen kind of in the background and we'll send you an email uh, when it is finished. And so you'll receive this email and then you'll know that your model is done training. The other thing I want to mention here is during training, your model will also be converted. That is that it's taken from the uh, raw training format where training is occurring and it will be converted to different deployment destinations. And in the next video, we'll get through and we'll get to see what these different deployment destinations are and how we can leverage our computer vision model for inference once it is trained.